Binet was a French psychologist who published the first modern intelligence test, the Binet-Simon Intelligence Scale, in 1905. The Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale is considered to be one of the best available and most widely used intelligence tests. Some of the sample items from the Binet-Simon Intelligence Scale are repeat a sentence of 15 words, follows a moving object with the eyes, reproduces from memory two designs shown for 60 seconds, repeats a seven-digit sequence of digits to test immediate memory etc. His principal goal was to identify students who needed special help in coping with the school curriculum. It can help determine the levels of intellectual and cognitive functions in preschoolers, children, adolescents, and adults and assist in the diagnosis of learning disability, developmental delay, mental retardation, or giftedness. It is used to provide educational planning and placement, neuropsychological assessment and research. The Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale is generally administered in a school or clinical setting. New versions of Binet-Simon Intelligence Scale was introduced in the year 1908. 1908 scale is more standardized. The test grouped into age levels on the basis of performance. In this version, Binet and Simon introduced the concept of mental age. Mental age is computed by adding to his basal age the number of months credited received for passing each subtest up to his selling age. The basal age is the highest year level at which the examinee passes all the subtests of the scale. And the selling age is the lowest year level at which the examinee fails all the subtests of the scale. That is, mental age is equal to basal age plus partial credit. In 1911 version, the Binet and Simon test added at the adult level. Binet died in the year 1911. Stanford Binet first edited by Tarman. More than one third of the items were new and the entire scale was re-standardized on an American sample of 1400 people among 1000 children and 400 adults. Most important aspect was that the concept of IQ was first time introduced in the psychological test. IQ that is the intelligent quotient is equal to mental age by chronological age into 100. Tarman along with Merrill revised the SB1 which is commonly known as Binet 1937. This revision comprised of the two parallel equivalent form L and M which provided a better sampling of populations and abilities. This edition was better standardized and better validated than the 1916 version and also extended to a upper and lower range. Thus, this test used a broader of upper and lower ability levels. Portions of the sample were gathered in Indiana and Kentucky. The third revision were done in the year 1916. This is the one version, the L and M. Modern item analysis method were used in this version. Here, the best items of the forms L and M were combined. It were standardized with 4,500 sample with age 2.5 to 18 years. SB3 re-standardized on 2,100 person in the year 1972. 1972 version were standardized using statistical random sampling from age group 2 to 18. The fourth edition was by Thorndike, Hagen and Settler in the year 1986. Here this version of the test is complete restricting into 15 subtests. In the fifth edition by Royd, five factors intelligence were introduced in the year 2003. Description of Binet-Simon scale 1937. In the second edition, if you observe the table, you will be find that there are total 20 classes and total 129 test items. From age 2 to 5, there are 7 age group and there were 6 questions for each classes and alternative 7 items for each classes. 
For each correct response, the student will score one month. Six questions for each class from six to fourteen years, and for each correct response, the student will score two month. Adult age content eight items two month for each correct response. Superior adult one, two, and three contains six items each with score four months, five months, and six months respectively for each correct response. If we add all the score, the maximum mental age will be. 22 years and 10 months example suppose a child's actual age is 13 years but he is competent to solve a problem for class 12 he also solved three items of class 13 three items for class 14 solve one item each for adult age superior adult 1 and superior adult 2 but unable to solve any question from superior adult 3 what is the level of intelligence of this child what is the child can be termed as we have to provide the test question below the actual age of the child as the actual age of the child is 13 so the child was given to solve the item for class 11 the child solved all the items for class 12 so his basal age is 12 year he solved three items each in the test for class 13 and class 14 he also solved one item each in the test for adult age test for superior adult 1 and superior adult 2 but unable to solve any item for superior adult 3 these are all considered as partial credit so here total partial credit is 23 months if we add basal age and partial credit we get the total mental age as 167 month Now putting it in the IQ formula and solving we get the IQ approximately 107 Now comparing it with the table we can conclude that the child is average or normal in intelligence Precautions Intelligence testing requires a clinically trained examiner The Stanford Binet intelligence scale should be administered scored and interpreted by a trained professional preferably a psychologist children with physical disabilities may require certain accommodation when taking the test such as extra time for task rest break or instruction received in an alternate format that is as for example signing for a deaf child the examiner should be made aware of a child's potential limitations before the day of the test so that appropriate accommodations are available Now try this